company. Today on Henry's How To's, I'm going to show you how to make McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm going to be using chicken mince. Uh, make sure you guys grab yourselves a good quality one. Don't get any of the rubbish ones. I'm using an organic one here. And just onto a plate here, we're going to get our mince. Sort of roll them into a bowl. And just give them a little bit of shape, just like that. Almost just like what the McDonald's ones are like. And put those onto the plate. Now obviously you can make these any shape you want. I know, I think they've got three different types of shapes. Um, just use your fingers to try and make those shapes. Although it's not necessary. Like that one as well. And just continue doing this with all of your chicken mints. Okay, so I'm just going to do six nuggets for now. As you can see guys, that's the way I've just shaped them all. Like I said, they don't have to be like that, it's just for fun. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and put this into the freezer for about 10 minutes, just so they firm up a bit, and then we'll come back. Okay guys, in the meantime, grab yourselves a bowl like that, and also turn your deep fryer on, and set it to 170 degrees Celsius. And into this bowl, we're going to be cracking one egg. And to the egg, we're going to be adding in one and a half cups of buttermilk. Now grab yourself a whisk. And we're just going to whisk this and make it all combined. And we'll start adding our flour gradually to make our batter. So just one cup at a time. We don't want any lumps in there. That's another half a cup. Okay, so to our um, batter there, we're going to be adding a tablespoon of celery salt. A tablespoon of garlic salt. And just a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Give that another mixer on, get that combined. Just going to be adding in about another touch of flour, maybe just a tablespoon. If you want a really crunchy batter, you can add more flour. But you want it fairly light. Okay, that'll do. Okay guys, so set that aside. Let's grab yourselves another bowl and put about a half a cup of flour in there. And we'll go ahead and bring our chicken out of the freezer. As you can see, they're a bit more firmer now. It's a very simple process. All we do is get our chicken, put it into the flour, then dip it into our batter, then straight into the fryer. So grab your chicken, straight into the flour. Make sure it's nice and covered. Then dip it into your batter. And be gentle with it so it doesn't fall apart. And straight into the fryer. I'll just do one at a time so you guys can see. So just using a slow spoon, go ahead and flip it. Just so we get even cooking. So as you can see, that particular piece I did quite big. So I'll go ahead and get another piece, one of the smaller pieces, and repeat the same process. So into the flour, nice and covered, into our butter. Gently take it out, straight in. So 
is our first one we did we can take out now. And that's how it looks. Nice, isn't it? I just set that in the basket here just to drain. We'll go ahead and flip that. And we'll just repeat the process with another piece. Okay, and hopefully you guys can see our homemade chicken McNuggets. They are slightly bigger than the McDonald's ones, but that one looks pretty close actually. You can just make them small if you want. They will cook faster as well if you make them smaller, so go ahead and do that. If not, all that's left to do is enjoy these. And I hope you like that. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I've always got new videos up, and I'll see you all next time.